Hey guys, welcome to Rishi Apps YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to develop your own Notepad app with the help of Python's Tkinter library. Before going inside this video, don't forget to click this red color subscribe button and click this bell icon. Because of that, you may get more notifications like this video. And before going inside this video, I want to say one good news that if you're going to about on our YouTube channel, means you can able to see so like 3050 views, right? It's the overall views on 5th February 2022. So uh, in future, it will increase more. So at the moment, thank you for all those who are supporting us by liking the videos and sharing the videos and clicking this red color subscribe button. So let's jump to a uh, notepad, all right? Notepad app in our windows. You can get one beautiful uh, notepad, right? Here you can type something and you can save it and you may open a file like that and all of you can i get some options so like that i have created one notepad application so i want to show you that this is my notepad application this is having a 400 into 600 window so now I, like i can type something uh, i love coding coding so i love coding so this is my data on the uh, my file so i'm going to save it so I'm going to save it in my document full document uh, section. So I'm going to save as code me. Code me is going to be the file name, and it's going to save on the .txt format. So now I may go to that uh, folder. Right? So let's go to this documents s. Here I can get that code me. So it will ask you open with. I'm going to open with the Notepad app, our Windows Notepad app itself. Yes, I can see this. I love coding, which I have entered in. I am. It's on my app, right? So it's displaying on our this uh, data in this Notepad, Windows Notepad. So like this only, we are going to create one app today. So in this app also, you may if you see, I can able to clear everything. It. I, I need to exit this app means I can click this exit button. So I may also open some folders. So like this only we are going to create today so let's get started before uh, before i get starting before jumping to inside this video so don't forget to download one uh text editor called sublime text so it's very very useful text editor platform which is uh, helpful on editing your uh your python uh, libraries right i mean the, your python files so simply you can go to the google and search for the sublime text platform sublime text editor and sublime text editor for download you may download for your windows or your mac so uh, after downloading you may uh, set up your sublime text and you may start it so be after that you need to create one folder so in this one layer only you're going to create your have uh, all of your uh, python scripts and libraries so uh, after doing this, what I'm going to do next means I'm going to create another one folder inside this Why? because to save our notepad data. Okay. Notepad data. So I'm going to name the folder as note. So notepad app. Notepad app is going to be the folder name. Let I can open this folder. So let's again keep like this itself. Let's back to the Sublime Text Editor platform. So here I'm going to click this file. I am to click this new file or else you may also click this control plus n keys together because of that it will say so now i'm going to click this control plus s keys together because of that yeah, i may save as a python file so go inside this a uh, notepad file sorry notepad folder and name your project as a note app and you may give something and after that you need to put this dot py because uh it will uh, show to our computer with that so our file is going to be as a python file it's a python file so don't forget to put this dot py file it's a very very important thing here so let's save it because of that we have successfully made that as a python file. so now what i'm going to do next means now i'm going to now i'm going to import the libraries so i'm going to create this uh, app with the help of the Tkinter library, right? So for that, uh, for downloading the Tkinter library, let's open this control panel. Sorry, our command prompt. So let's type like pip install 
ठीक है इंटर सॉरी ठीक है इंटर क्लिक दिस एंटर बटन सो फॉर माय शोइंग सम एरर व्हाई बिकॉज़ आई हैव ऑलरेडी जस्ट सक्सेसफुली डन विद डाउनलोडिंग दिस लाइब्रेरी सो इफ यू डिड नॉट डाउनलोड दिस लाइब्रेरी मींस इट विल द कलेक्ट एंड डाउनलोड फ्री सो आफ्टर डाउनलोडिंग योर लाइब्रेरी जस्ट टाइप लाइक फ्रॉम टी कैन टेल सो टी कैन टेल a dot uh, file dialog dialog import everything for that you may give like a start like thing so dkt dot file dialog like this only we are having in our app right file dialog so that i recently created next we are having importing this a uh, dkt as dk so let we can import this dkt Tick enter as tk because instead of calling this tk enter, this is a big name as we can call as a tk, right? So, only. so it's not tk enter as tk enter, it's tk. But then, what I'm going to do next means I'm going to create like a canvas like thing, right? So, canvas is equal to tk. I think I'm right, only yes, we are having this canvas dot tk. But before that, uh, we need to put something like tk, tk dot tk. Why? Because uh, we need to indicate that this is from the tk library, right? Tk and the library. So simply you can put as tk, normal tk, not capital L, just small tk, and dot. Because of that, we may uh, indicate that this is from the tk and the library, and we are going to call this tk function, which is t is capital and k is small letter, and canvas, canvas dot. So because of we have called it as a stick image, stick is a window, right? Is we are creating like a window. So then we are going to uh, con configure it under it config. So bg is equal to is to create as black. So let's uh, say, but we need to put into this main loop, I think so. So for that we need to put that canvas dot main loop. In loop function. Yes, we may see one small window, very 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 small window. So let's increase this uh window size. For the what I'm going to do means I'm going to keep as canvas dot geometry right. Geometry and it's going to be four hundred into six hundred. So let's try it. So geometry. Oh, sorry, sorry. The spelling is wrong. Actually, correctly, just I have missed this e geometry. Yes, I can see one beautiful a four hundred into six hundred screen, right? So it's really good. So then I need to do one main thing that I need to give a title for the window. For that, what I'm going to do in canvas dot title. So title is going to be note app. So let's uh, save it, and you can see one nice uh, note app title, right? Window title. So then, what I'm going to do next means, so let we can have a uh, icon for our application. Okay, here also we have done with the icon for our application, right? So you may design your own icon, or you can get it from Google. So I'm already having this icon for that. What I'm going to do means I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to inside this note app. Where is a note app folder? Note app, note app, note app, note app. Okay, let's search for note app folder. Yes, note app folder. Yes, I can paste it inside this note app folder. Yes, we can see this uh, image. So I'm going to do means I'm going to call it now. Uh, after that, uh, we are going to call that. Okay, for that, what I'm going to do means. I'm going to create one variable, okay? Uh, create one variable called photo is equal to photo image. Photo is equal to photo image, and photo image is going to call our uh, data inside this uh, image data inside this our Notepad app folder, right? So let's uh, call this file because it's a file, right? So file is going to be uh, our notepad sorry our uh, we need to call that this image right 
it's dot png formatizing so let's go to the property and let's we can copy this uh, title of this image and dot png so let's go to the sublime text platform and write this uh code like name and with dot png and what i'm going to do next means i'm going to keep as it as an icon okay we are going to make it as an icon for that we are having this icon photo function so we are going to call this canvas again canvas dot icon sorry, icon photo photo and i'm going to call this photo so i think i'm right when i okay, need to keep a photo because it's variable so i can as photo I, and before that i need to do one thing i'm going to keep it as false so then let me see yes you may see this uh, a nice icon in the notepad app, right? So this is a oral code for this setting up until now. So let's see for the next step. So then we are having some. So we are going to create some frame for the canvas for keeping this uh, like this. We are having this app, right? So here we are having some buttons. Okay? You can see able to see one open, save, clear, exit. So if you want to keep this four button spins, you need to have a frame like this. So I think in in Tunkable we are you we can use as a colon and rows, right? So like this one D. So now I'm going to create one a uh, frame called top is equal to frame frame so frame which is going to inside this canvas one. So canvas name variable. This is how we are going to set up our uh this is our frame so after creating our frame we are going to pack our frame so pack means like a uh, displaying like where and all we can set a uh, setting this x position and y position so uh now i'm going to keep this top dot pack function so then pad x is equal to uh five and pad y is equal to a uh, ten so then we are having this anchor like thing so here we are going to keep as uh northeast northeast i think i am right yes i am right only but we have kept as northwest why because uh, it's all on the left side right top left corner so only yeah we have done it as a uh not so let's we can change this nw which is northwest so also this pad, this uh, padding x s yes, it should be ten, and y position is going to be five. So then after setting it, what I'm going to do next means I'm going to uh if you if you are some if you run this code means you can't able to see the screen. Why? Because we have no it's invisible. So if we keep any bg for this frame means so bg is equal to red. So let's see. You now I can't be able to see it. Okay, so uh, if you done the coding, you can be able to see it. You can be able to see it. Now, what I'm going to do next means after packing that, we are going to call something inside that frame. I mean, we are going to create some buttons from inside this frame. So here you can see this codes, right? So this same code only we are going to use. So we are going to create one uh, variable for first button. So we may call it as a uh, not b1 uh, if you it will confuse yourself so it will confuse you for that what i'm going to do means if you can name it as open button open btn save btn clear btn and exit btn so first of all we can create one open oh sorry it's all right of open btn is equal to we are going to create one button so we are having this button named function so after creating this button named function so here we are going to uh, it is going to display see this top okay because of the only top means it's top frame so then this text is going to be text is equal to open open and we are having this pg bg is equal to hello bg is equal to hello and we are having nothing i think so nothing more than this we are not having nothing more than this yes if i run means you can't able to see i think so but because i did not pack it yes now i'm going to pack it by 
open underscore btn and dot package we need to pack it again 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 way right? because we have packed it the top frame itself right because of that one so we are going to pack it yes i can see one beautiful a uh, button right uh i can see able to see this beautiful button because of packing this uh button okay so i need to see in the uh, side in the left side only right for that what i'm going to do means uh, i'm going to keep the in underscore is equal to top okay so it is going to see the stop name variable and we are going to uh, create one some create something for side this is always it should be in the left side okay left side so capital okay it's not going to change something but it will be more and more useful if you pack okay so then what well, let's we can copy the codes again and i can paste in the new next to uh code lines and then we are having this after saving sorry after opening we can click on the save button save btn save btn so uh let's try it you guys able to see another one button right but it's save uh, it's uh, text is going to be save not save btn save yes i can able to see one beautiful uh, open and save buttons so then what i'm going to do means i'm going to give, uh, create another one button yes, this button is for clear everything it's clear button clear btn and again clear btn clear btn so okay i need to change the text yes clear. let's try yes open save clear so then we are having the exit button more so let's copy this code let's paste it again and it's exit sorry exit exit btn and again exit btn so also the text is going to be exit yes i can able to see one beautiful open save clear exit buttons so here in this application so we can able to see the same only so it's too good right so then uh, the remaining work is that we need to create one text box one beautiful text box like this okay for that we may create one text function right yes we are going to create that now so i'm going to create a text box here so what else i need to keep as t txt txt box which is text box is equal to text function and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to it is going to inside this top top name the function i think so it's not it's inside this top it is going to inside this a uh, canvas only and i think so uh okay yes this i have done one mistake in the button okay so button is going to be canvas only so here we have inside a in the top right inside a stop so if you hear that two means it's showing some error why because it is going to inside this two and it is going to inside this top okay sorry inside this canvas so canvas so that i can replace this canvas at every place is it's going to inside this canvas only but her uh, at the keeping of uh, while packing we are going to keep it as a top right top left corner so only we are going to use us this top means this uh, top frame only okay so only we are doing this so then what i'm going to do means our uh, text box after creating this it's also in the canvas only so and after uh, doing this what i'm uh, the next means i need to keep this a uh, bg background bg is equal to white so now i can take it i got to proceed why bursa why because i did not pack it until now and we are having this a font 
font is equal to like we are going to keep the brackets and we are going to give this uh, size and we need to give something like area area and uh, it's a font style so you can give whatever that you want so now i'm going to pack it txt box dot pack but it's showing some error why because it's check why it's showing the error okay Arial. okay let's uh, change okay okay i think after this uh, Arial only this uh, 15 size should come i think so 15 let's set it to 15 16 okay all right yes it's really good right so then what i'm going to do next means next we need to set this uh pad x and pad y okay in the pad name function pad x and pad y pad x and pad y okay this pad x is going to be uh 10 and pad y is going to be y five and then what i'm going to do next means uh okay let's try by this itself yes it's really too good right we are having this one right yes it's really good i can type something that i want and what i'm going to do next means we are having this uh, uh expand then we are having this expand so let i can show you what will happen if i done it or anything okay, sorry sorry it's working perfectly fine so then what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to give us expand is equal to two and we are going to uh, fill it as a so let's check it as i can uh, type something i can type something anywhere else yes. i can use something like blah, 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 blah. yes it's working perfectly fine but then what i'm going to do next means I'm going to uh, use this uh, functions for a uh, saving, opening, and clearing exit. So whenever you also was clicking this exit, sorry, not exit, as yes, exit only. So we're just going to have a command of command of exit. So let's see. So let's say if you click this exit means I can have to uh, exit from this uh, app. So. Uh, I need to show you one thing that uh, in the text box. So if I some uh, write something like I am J, I am from, I am from. Okay. After this, we are having to write coding. Coding means so see uh, this code. Uh, see till this I N, uh, it was came in the first line, but this G is coming in the second line for solving this issue what i'm going to do means so i'm going to add one uh add, add a, one parameter like wrap is equal to word like this so like if i done the same again so see code so if i type the next word i mean it's coming in the new line so it's working perfectly fine so then what i'm going to do next is i need to uh, uh, do a functions for this uh, each every function uh, i mean each every button is right they are having each button is like uh, open save uh where does the exit only clear is everyone so then i'm going to create this first first of all i'm going to define the save function i'm going to define the save function save so i'm going to uh, define the save Sorry, sorry, sorry. save file is going to be the function and i'm going to uh, close it and i'm going to say this one we are going to do our program so then here only we are going to create a new file new file is equal to ask save as ask as function 
because of this uh, because you can save uh, as something like this okay as save as file is just as save as as save as file then we are having this mode so mode is uh, w so mode is equal to w so sorry, w so why this mode is equal to w means uh, mode is equal to write we are going to write it and then we need to save it so this is the uh, meaning for this mode is equal to w so then what we are having is that we are going to use file type we are having this file type we have this file type okay in this file type we are going to enter its uh, text to file and we are going to save it as that so it is going to be text to file text to file and comma dot comma so not here comma after closing this uh, so we are going to having this dot txt uh, and we are going to give this star why because so not star here here we are not going to give a star so then what i'm going to do next to means so not here so while saving we are going to see do this and what we are going to do is if the file is equal to no so then it is going to return so if the new file is equal to this no this no i think so let's check it this no yes it's right so then it is going to return return with the programs and uh, then what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a text okay i'm going to save so then if it's not like a known miss i just going to save it for that i'm going for step one is going to be i will create one variable named text is equal to string here i'm going to uh, write something like uh, our variable name so which is a uh, txt right txt box dot get function dot get function will be able to use because of that we can get something from that uh, from that uh, text box so from 1.0 to end and this is the overall code if we can check it's right or wrong as yes, it's absolutely correct so then we are having uh we are going to uh call this new file new file is nothing but this uh we are going to call this ask save as file right that pop up video like this file dialog so that dot w or i t write function so here i'm going to uh, uh write from i'm going to call this write function and what is going to write means it is going to write this text what is inside this text? Text is not the part. We are going to call that uh, call that from the text box. So that's when we are having this text. So we are going to write this text. And what I'm going to do next means we are need to close this new file. New file dot close function. Because of that only we may be able to save it. So this is the overall process to save. So uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to define the quotes for open file. Okay. So here we are here again we are going to define something like uh, same thing. So I'm going to create this file named a uh, file named uh, variable and I'm going to ask uh, call the same function ask save as here i'm going to create one more so but you need to note one thing that no more is equal to note so here you need note one that i'm going to uh give this more is equal to all so r means read so open means we are going to read right opening and we are going to read so only r so then what i'm going to do is file type Yes, this operation so, so here we are going to save as text to files right text to files and after that we are adding this commas and we are going to put this comma i need to put this dot is like the star dot txt okay because of that we may indicate this as a opening file so then what i'm going to do next means 
then we are uh, we need to uh, open it and we need to display on this right so for that what i'm going to do means we need to check that the file is known file was known so then it is going to return the program so so it's not like normal means then what is going to uh take that data and showing on our window showing it on the window so i think so, oh, sorry if the file is not known means so oh, yeah, we here we are using this not known. so for that we need for that we don't need to return the function the file is not known not known means that time we are going to uh, uh, call that content okay so we are going to create one uh, con variable name content so content is equal to file dot three so we are going to create one uh, variable now game content is equal to file so file means this variable file dot we are going to read it so then what i'm going to do means i'm going to insert in uh, I'm going, so whenever user was opening some file means it is going to display on this text box for that what i'm going to do means txt box txt underscore box dot uh, insert so insert yes, insert so here i'm going to insert it what means i'm going to insert it insert, it. insert. and what means i'm going to insert this content insert this content and after insert this content this is the overall code for opening this uh, webs, uh opening the file so then what we are having is defining the clear clear function okay, clear function so we are having we need to clear this uh for entry i mean our text box so txt box dot delete delete function so from 1.0 to this end okay this is the overall code for clearing data so then what i'm going to do means so in the clear between we are going to call this command is equal to so we are going to call this clear named function so then we are going to call this command in the save name proper save button so i'm going to call this save file so then we are having this command again command is equal to in opening we are going to open this open file function so this is overall code let's check it how is the app is working so it's showing some error here so why it's showing the error so let's compare with our previous application that i developed Okay, let's take in also read this right, read the error that it should. So after the W it's showing this comma. Yes, yes, it's going to is equal to right after this file type it's going to is equal to. So I forget to do that. So you should do that. So let I can save it. Yes, it's working perfectly fine now. So if I need to open something from the document named this means okay that I can open something so like if i open this once so i can able to see this overall data from that file so i can able to exit from this application so then i can have if something if i write something means i can able to clear something so if i like uh, if i write something like i love coding means so i can able to save it yes right so this is how the app is going to work if you like this video means don't forget to subscribe to Rishi apps youtube channel and click the bell icon so because of that you may get the more notifications like this video so thank you for watching let's meet on the next video